Hello everybody, it's Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk and today I'm going to make a really cute project that I saw on another lady's channel. I think her name is Colette. I will leave a link down below in the description box. She's nothing to do with stamping up, but I saw this. It's quite an old video and I just fell in love with it and I just wanted to have a go. So what you need are six pieces of DSP cut to four by four. I happen to be using the frosted florals. Um, and then you need two pieces of cardstock measuring one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. Okay, so we'll just move those to one side. So what you're going to do with your four by four square is we're going to do a bit of folding. <laughs> so first of all, we're going to fold it in half. And this is such fun and so quick. Right, so we've folded it in half, then open it, turn it. And fold it in half. Is that right? Fold it, yeah. <laughs> fold it in half again. It's so simple, honestly. I don't know why I'm, uh, I, I lost concentration then for a minute. So you've folded it in half again. So then you open it, and what you want to do is you want to turn it over and then have it corner, point to point like that. Okay, and fold it point to point. Doesn't matter which point, as long as it's point to point. So you end up with a triangle like that with on the reverse side of your DSP. Okay, so then you open it up and then you will see that if you just get hold of it like that, you've got that kind of a shape like that, like a bird. Okay, not much of a bird, but there you go. And it will automatically want to fold like that very, very easily. Can you see? So these are folding inwards and the way you've folded it, it will just want to go that way without much help. Okay, so then you've got a solid pointy top and an open beaky bottom. Okay, and you need six of those. Give them a good, good squeeze. Okay, and you need six, all exactly the same. So I've pre-done mine here. Okay. So then what we're going to do, first of all, well next, we're going to stamp. And I've chosen just a lovely sentiment from the first frost. And it says, here's to a season filled with warmth, comfort and good cheer. Okay, and we're going to actually emboss it. So I'm going to use my um, embossing budder, which I like to call a dust budder, I don't know why. Okay, and then we're going to stamp it while it's on a point. So I'm going to line it up on my grid so that I know that the points are straight. Okay, and I've mounted my stamp here and I'm using Versamark. Okay, so just ink that up really well. Ink, 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 ink. I've not used this stamp before, so hopefully it'll just stamp nicely. It does just fit nicely in that square because checked. And um, so I'm just going to press that and then just leave it a moment to make sure that that ink transfers nicely. There we go. Put my lid on. And there we go. And then I'm using the gold stamping up embossing powder. So I'm just going to really carefully. Pop that in my tray. Cover it nicely with embossing powder. I've no idea which word stamped it, but it didn't matter. <laughs> okay. Give it a good covering. Resist the urge to blow. <laughs> you always, I sometimes feel like I want to blow on my um, embossing powder, but you mustn't because you'll knock it all off. So now I'm just going to heat up my, get my heat gun going. You can um, turn the volume down if you like. I'm just holding it at an angle, like, you know, like at an angle rather than straight down. And that's starting to turn now. Okay. So I'm just going to set that to one side so it's got time to set. 
And then what you want to do is you want to stick all of these together, just one on top of the other with the closed points to it toward each other. So you're sticking them on so all of the open sides are together. Okay, real, really simple. So you've got your closed point, I mean shot, your closed point there and your open point there. So you're sticking them closed point to closed point. Okay. I'll try and stay in shot while I do it. I'm zoomed in really, really close because it's only a little tiny project. It's so cute. So I'm just using snail. Okay. And I'm going to carefully line it up point to point. Like so. And then give it a press and then just keep on going. And until you have layered them all up. So only a little, so get it in your hands like that um, and make like a square shape so you can help yourself line them up. Okay, really easy. And then this can be given as a little card or it can be hung as a decoration. Um, and the lady that I watched said, you know, it's such a simple project. You could make these with the kiddies. Um, beautiful. If you do craft stars, you could have some of these lying about. You could make them for swaps. I just think they're lovely. I just thought it was a really cute idea. Let's try and get that lined up nicely. Okay. And then we're on with the last one. Okay, line the last one up, like so. Okay, so let me just zoom out ever so slightly now so that you can see it will open like so and it will turn it into a star. How awesome is that? <laughs> you might have seen it before, it was the first time I'd seen it and I just absolutely loved it. So what we're going to do is we are going to, now we're going to make a closure for the top. Okay, so from the, this is now your top which is your open bits. Alright, so you want some ribbon and I'm using the Tea Room Sweet ribbon here because it's nice and thin. Because I'm going to feed it through a bead. So you want a, a, you know, a fair amount so that it can uh, hang. Okay. So for argument's sake, I've measured, what have I measured here? Let's see if I can measure, see if I can figure out. I've just done it by eye, but for example, I've cut approximately 12 inches. Okay. Approximately. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of fold it in half so that it's, even on both sides, it's twisted, I don't want it twisted. So we've got a neck, so it's even like that, okay. And then I'm going to feed it and I'm going to put it onto a bead. So I'm just going to twist it and see if I can make that a little bit narrower and see if I can feed it through this bead. It might not fit. I'm going to try and shove it through with a pin. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. And then just at the top here, making sure that the bead doesn't come back off at the bottom, I'm just going to tie a knot so that we've got a hanging loop if somebody wants to use it as a decoration. Okay, so we've got a hanging loop there, but we've also got a knot to stop this bead coming off. Okay, right. So now what we're going to do, very, very simply, we're going to put a line of adhesive down the centre and we are going to attach our ribbon like so, leaving a small gap. Okay. And then we're going to attach our sentiment. over the top of that. Okay. Just trying to get it on straight. That looks really pretty. 
and then we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the same at the back and we're going to attach that ribbon pulling it straight and then I do have a back panel um, you could stamp on the back as well or you could layer it with more DSP to make it look a bit nicer and I'm just layering that on there which will help hold that ribbon on okay so then when it's not in use you pull the bead down and it keeps it closed okay let me zoom out so that will keep it closed and you can hang it on the loop like so okay and then when you want to use it you lift the bead up and it should open yes <laughs> perhaps be slightly more um, generous with the ribbon but it does still open and then you close it again and you've got a hanging star okay <laughs> so instead of 12 inches of ribbon maybe go for 14 maybe have slightly more but it does still work um, okay like so pull your bead down and it closes it again I think that's an awesome little little uh, ornament come gift swap or a little star card give it a try I'll leave all of my links below um, so you can hop on over to scrimpymommy.co.uk for all of the sizes and instructions. Thanks for watching. Bye.